Let's take a look and see what's in store for this week. We've got a great selection of beautiful pink and magenta seasonal flowers and foliage. Umbrella fern, Ostromeria, Queen Anne's Lace, Veronica, and the Snapdragons. Righty, let's get into it. We're going to start um, this week with our Queen Anne's Lace. Just be reduced in length a little bit. The vase that we've chosen to um, work with today is a um, just curved top, simple glass vase. It's approximately 25 centimeters in height and it's about 15 centimeters in diameter. You're just going to cut the stems on the Queen Anne's Lace and just gently, evenly distribute the blooms, just dancing like that. Use the edge of the vase to support. Next, we're going to play with the Ostromeria. Ostromeria have multiple heads on each stem and when they open, they kind of triple in size. So they come like big pom-poms on the single stem. So we wanna make sure we give them some extra room to open as they flower. We need to give their ends a trim just like that, and then place them just evenly amongst the Queen Anne's lace. Just like that. You can give your vase a little turn, which will help create a nice even display. Next, we're going to play with the beautiful Snapdragons. These are the feature flower this week. Great color, um, and they've got a real velvety kind of appearance. They're like lustering in this natural light. With the Snapdragons, some basic conditioning is trimming their stem to open up the surface area. And then you just need to hand pluck each of the little flower of each of the foliages that are going to hit the water level. You don't want any foliage in that water. And in they go. The final flower element to this week's recipe is the beautiful Veronica. As I said before, one of my favorites. It's actually a field, very much a field grown flower, but it's got some gorgeous attributes with these little tentacle-like top bits, which kind of add a softness to um, your arrangement. You just need to trim the stems and then place them amongst the other varieties. A good little tip is to just give the stem a little twist as you're inserting it through that way then you're not fighting the other stems. The final element is going to be the foliage this week, which is the umbrella fern. Just give the woody stems a nice quick trim to allow the water to get up the stem. And then you're just going to use the edge of the vase and position the stem right on the neckline as like a cuff to a shirt. And just one on the other side. Give the flowers a little reposition to make sure that you're happy with your design. And there you have it. That's this week's magenta pink textural box.